10 years on and Julia Gillard is still going on about how she's a victim. Gillard, the former Prime Minister, will tonight tell a sellout crowd in Melbourne, tomorrow a sellout crowd in Sydney, her umpteenth take on her speech accusing then-Liberal leader Tony Abbott, this is 10 years ago, of sexism. I will not be lectured about sexism and misogyny by this man. I will not. And the government will not be lectured about sexism and misogyny by this man. Not now, not ever. Misogyny, sexism, every day from this Leader of the Opposition. We actually have a lot of women paying $170 a head to hear again that same whinging that Gillard has repeated endlessly and now even in a book. I guess the T-shirt and the coffee cup merch can't be far away. But the thing here is that the misogyny speech and the myth that Gillard built around it is based on something very seedy. Joining me are commentators Liz Storr and Prue McSween. Thank you very much, both of you, for coming. Gillard started the speech by saying, I will not be lectured to on sexism by Tony Abbott. Liz, what had he in fact been talking about that prompted Gillard to switch to playing the victim that day? This is the eye-watering irony that everyone seems to have missed about this, the actual content of the speech, Andrew. The fact that the Prime Minister was actually rising to her feet to lecture Tony Abbott on sexism while defending the indefensible, excusing the inexcusable in what was the degrading sexual texts of one Peter Slipper. This is the context that everyone seems to be missing. And it's just, it's unbelievable that 10 years later, this, this speech has its own Wikipedia page, tens of millions of views around the world, eight years after. After it was delivered, it's been voted Australia's most unforgettable TV moment. I mean, it's it's just incredible. It really is. And I went back recently to remind myself what the supposedly horrible things were that Tony had said. She's on the record saying repeatedly, also quoted in the Harvard Business Review, uh, as saying she got her team to put together the most sexist comments Tony Abbott had ever uttered. So I re-listened to the speech to be reminded about what these supposed bile-laden things that he'd said about women were, and I agreed with every single one of them. <laughs> Me, a woman in modern-day Australia, Andrew. 